But I was saying, it's, no one's gotten hooked, knock on wood, ever. But this is one of those deals, if you got hooked and your boat's drifting back, you're going in the river. Oh, yeah, we got oh, one. We oh, do? wow, yeah. Big in. Big blue. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. We are starting the day off. We are at the river with the river boat. Uh, we got the motor fixed because it did, in fact, explode. This motor does not sound good. Oh, God. See that count? Oh, that's not a good sound. <laughs> Taking the boys out and the uh, engine exploded, dropped it back off at Bass Pro and they put a new one on it and no questions asked. So shout out to those guys for, for doing that. But you might be wondering, Bear, where did you get the black truck? Why do you have that one? I thought your truck was white. Listen, Rick, this is the Uncut Outdoors giveaway truck. That's right, we are giving it away. Yes, we would give it a nice bath prior to it. I live on Gravel Road. But this is Lunkers TV personal truck and we are giving it away on the uncut platform link down below is the uncut website now if you guys are new don't know what uncut is it's where a bunch of youtubers creators post uncut stuff hunting fishing where you can show cleaning you can show gutting you can do everything and that's also where i post a lot of stuff that i don't talk about on youtube as far as future plans i'm looking at other properties to buy other projects to uh get involved with and i i basically i we have a whole discussion board inside of that do you guys think this video is a good idea do you think this is a good idea should i do it like this what should i do for here so i go on and on and on and uh pretty much what what uncut is for uh like i said in the hunting season uh, obviously hunting in the non-hunting season we do a lot of other kinds of videos shorter form content um like i said you'll it's like spoiler alert central for my content in particular you get an inside look of what we're planning on doing the business ideas the new projects I mean I've posted stuff in there about do you like this for ducks and bucks should we design it like this what color of this we do giveaways on there we give away $2,500 a month to go purchase a pew pew every single month to a random person that is subscribed but this truck is going to be given away on the uncut platform like I said it'll be linked down below but the app store took the app off so if you already have the app then you're fine if you haven't don't have the app then you're not fine but watch this screen recording right here this is how you get the website to go on your home page and it basically acts like an app but it's not an app so apple if you're watching this that's basically all i gotta say about that right banjo yeah banjo taught me that banjo yeah, says did. oh you don't need an app you just do do the little doohickey so if you guys don't have the app can't get the app because apple's apple Apple basically said that our hunting videos are torturing animals and so they took us off the app platform. So even though we thought we were one-upping YouTube by starting our entire own platform, Apple came down, bang! That's how you kind of get the website to act as an app so that way you don't have to like go type it in, www. every single time and whatnot. So again, if you want a chance to win this guy, you just gotta sign up for Uncut. You get a bunch of exclusive content, exclusive videos from your favorite hunting and fishing creators and a chance to win this badass truck. It's like an $80,000 truck. It's a Tremor F250 tow rig. I mean, it's got the bumpers on it it's been my daily for the last couple days lunker shipped it up to me to give let me you know rip it around a little bit show it off to you guys so if you want a chance to win win this truck plus every single month like i said twenty five hundred dollars is what we give away every single month to go buy your own personal pew so that's it that's her and all her glory one of you guys that are watching this if you're part of uncut will drive home with this sucker at the end of the year and before i i forget every month that you're our member is an additional entry so like if you just sign up right now for one month that's fine but you just get one entry if you sign up now until the end of the year you're gonna get like six entries so increase your odds stay subscribed the content this fall is gonna be fire as well so we are gonna be doing some catfishing the river is pretty high but we got some jugs rivers here uh we have not done a river catfishing adventure yet because i said i blew up my motor last time i was on the river the impeller house house housing has corroded or cracked sick missing teeth sick there's also a really good chance i blow the lower unit out on the river today because the river is extremely high and i can't see any of the jetties um which is the first year i started fishing the river in 2020 it was high and i hit several things on the river so there's a decent chance we get stranded today uh but i hope not so this is the river boat this is the one we've been we bought to use for this purpose only river cat fishing kitty cats meow you guys stay tuned Shoo! this river's ripping well we got brand new motor so I guess I can't probably give her hell, huh? And for all you haters saying, Flair, you didn't break into your boat the first time, that's why it blew up. If that was the case, they wouldn't give me a new motor for free. It was under warranty. They just said, hey, it happens, here's a new motor. I may have not broken it properly, but we're gonna try to do it better this time. Get the motor, break the motor in. I did both last time. 
So, oh yeah, this is it, buddy. So I know there's rocks over here because I blew my lower unit two years ago, so that's good. So this is this is the infamous Channel Cove. You guys been a viewer of the catfish videos. We've been hitting this spot for, I think it's our third season now. Oh, smelly. So we had some, we have some flying Asian carp bait that we had saved in one of these new hickeys. Oh God, yeah. Oh, hey, I was gone. What? See, you just put it on here. Ooh, that stinks. That, you like that? Yeah, she's got a good stink. You caught him on this. Yeah, that is. I mean, definitely big blues and yeah, stuff. That'll, that'll be, be in business. Fine. And then we got some nice heads, which that's always good. You like that? Ain't going anywhere? Yeah. I think you, yeah, just go through the skin. I think that's oh, probably yeah. your, your best bet, right? We'll go with a few smaller chunks until we get, because like I said, this is Channel Cove. I don't think we've ever caught any big, big blues here. So the spots that are like where the big Sheila's live, we'll put some bigger chunks out. And he's blinded by the light. Look at that. My good old big Sheila. So, like I said, we're gonna probably put at least two lines here in Channel Cove, maybe three. We do have some shorties that aren't like set up super super well with some lighter weights. So this would be a, a spot for like we have some that are set up without the. So actually, yeah, I'll show you guys our weights. In case you guys are new, we've been running this. We've been running the same strap for this is our third season. Quick Crete solo cups. We either dropped an eye bolt in there, or we've even got like chain. Like go to like you know tractor and buy a bunch of chain and put like dip two links in and leave one link out you know there's probably cheaper things you could do but i mean these have stood the test of time for three seasons yeah. three seasons now but like so we have a few that i mean this is heavy this is like a four or five pounder which is great for like when the river's ripping but in channel cove i don't think we need it so we have some little 12 ounces that we use for snagging mm. that i think we can clip on there that way we don't burn a big yeah. sheila rig one of these doohickeys so if you drill a hole here you'll see that we'll, we'll attach the carabiner so we got to go up to the shore Hammer this in, string it out. We should be in business. You guys stay tuned. So this is the this is the old dangle right the old dangle noodle. Yeah. That'll work. You take the little carabiner. Snap it in. Good. Give it the old tuggy. I don't think the fish are gonna have the leverage to pull that out. They would have to be a giant, down, giant too. fish. So now the game is float back, don't get hooked, don't get tangled, because once the current starts taking you. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold us here, Banjo, for a second. This is we've. I, wow, wow, where are we headed? This might not be good. But I was saying, it's, no one's gotten hooked, knock on wood, ever. But this is one of those deals. If you got hooked and your boat's drifting back, you're going in the river. Mm -hmm. and there's nothing you're gonna do about it. One down. That has what six nuggies on it? About 16 foot. So I think, yeah, do a, do a beach one maybe. So that's not a, that's not an overly deep one. But at night, especially, seems like the, especially the channels or any catfish for that matter, they go shallow to feed. So they may be swimming around the current right now or sitting behind a jetty. But at night they're gonna cruise them shallow. So we got one in Channel Cove. That was a big long dong. I mean, you, you're. Odds of catching fish are pretty high when you have six baits out there at various depths. Maybe, right. maybe beach up there. There's probably gonna be some swimming around them sticks, which may have to get get out there and get out there and wrestle with them. Yeah, we Shorter one. we could do a three hooker. Depends if we want to do two or three sets in here. If you want to do three, like one more long one that goes from the beach all the way out would probably be good. Six foot, five foot, four foot, three foot, two foot. We're beached. So it, there's a big shelf right there. Yes, man, just getting the long dong ready. Awesome. Oh, there it is. All right. I'm gonna try to get us out in the current. Wow. Wow. Are you good? Just died, yeah. Yeah. So just you good? There you go. Yeah. You'll be all right. You about to die there or what? That one's good. That one should. Good that's spot. that's a lot of bait in that area. Mm -hmm. and that's why I use the long dong so I can get out in the. Uh, out in the deep area. So trying to decide if we want to put a shorty up there. Yeah, I think we should, dude. This spot's so good juice. That's it, that was a good one. All right, three inch channel cove, see you guys in the next spot. I think we found the whole dreams are made of banjo. There's some biggins in there. 
16 foot hole right here. Go in deeper, 17. 19, dude, this is it, hole. buddy. Oh God, the Asians oh. are jumping. These Asians are getting fired up. Yeah, so on this doohickey, yeah, wrap it around a few times just so it can't slip up. In the line down, this is a mega, isn't it? Yeah. Sheesh. Wow, this is a big one. She looks pretty, pretty and we're not, we don't have a lot of currents. This should be a real easy bag drift. All right, bag it up, Terry. Wow, right here at the 16 back. footer right here, buddy. Look at that doohickey. Sheesh, buddy. That was the whole long. All right. That's big old, that's blue. That ain't Channel Cove. <clears throat> that's big Sheila Cove. All right, see you guys next spot. See that tuggy boat? That's a big tuggy boat. That's an insane amount of rock. I don't know if you guys quite grasp how much rock that is, but that's like, I'd say each pile is probably like eight dump trucks worth. I'm also gonna get swan from Buddy. I, I don't see it a lot, but I've seen this in movies before. Why, he's, he has the leaf blower. He, why is he leaf blowing? What is it? Why does that make sense? That is cra that is nuts. That's a lot of rock. Look at that. Oh, he's giving a tuggy now. Can you like tell him to like honk the horn or what? Oh, they will. Yeah. 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 Give me a tuggy. I don't know, Banjo. Do we where, do we go south or north? Flip a coin. What do you think? Heads. Which way? Heads is go south. All right. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Tails. So we go north. North we go. Oh, oh! What are you doing? Oh! Oh! I'm wet. Actually, yeah, we have a quarter tank, so it probably shouldn't go any further south, huh? <laughs> yeah, we only have We've seven already gallons. burnt a quarter tank, we only have seven gallons on us, so. Sheesh! Alright, see you guys up north. Watch your, oh shoot, hang on now. Watch your, uh, you got it. Nah, you got it. And we got, I mean, look at this bait. Are the three hookers your favorite, or are you like two hookers, or one hooker? More hookers, the better. That's what I was Yeah, for saying. sure, yeah. Look at that bait, though. That's a big old chunk. All right. Let's give her a toss. Yep. Oh, oh no rip. Rip. Oh, oh, oh hey. we're good. <laughs> that was close. We're good, though. You like that one? All right. Wait, how many did we put out? A lot. We had 12. How many? Nine? Three? Nine. Yeah. Set out nine? Mm -hmm. I think that'll work. So. Pins, yeah. Huh? Hopefully you have nine pins on your phone so we know where to get them. Yeah, I've been dropping pins. So. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Choo! We're back. Excited? Oh, yeah. Look at you two, little pretty drink. Sour candy. Red Bull. In eight, eight, oh, with Red Bull? Yeah, Red Bull. Got some McDonald's breakfast this morning. How many do you think we got? I would say we got three. I said four. Jake said three. I'm saying one double in the catfish cove. You think cove got double? Yeah. They're just thinking double in the cove. Oh, the big, the next thing are we gonna catch a, a mondo or I, just much a little? I said three, and I said two channels and one it's, blue that's around ten. Yeah. yeah, three uh, channels, one blue, twenty-five pounder. Just, uh, eighty-two pounds minimum. Wow. Wow. Eighty-two? Is that like the wow. for the one? Oh, no, for just one. just one one blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I got my fritter. Life is good. Let's go check these lines. How are we doing? We got a line here. I'm not trying to get all up in y'all's face, but I gotta give her a look. Ooh, I feel one. Yep, yep, really? yep, yep. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It might have been the cup. It's dragon. Really? We're, we're clean. clean. <laughs> no, it was the cup dragon. No dice. We got cleaned up though. Wow. Dude, that cup feels like a fish because yeah, it, it tumbles and it's like. Dang, that was supposed to be a good spot. Too. Yeah, you're all fired up. I, you had me going, dude. It, for a it went, do, 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 but it's like the <laughs> cup is tumbling. Means they gave it the old suck last night. And we didn't get them hooked. Yeah, oh, I see it. I see the old line. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Give her a tuggy. Clean. Uh oh. We getting clean? Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't feel like anything to me. Clean. Rip. Sir, how does that happen? You can't be serious. Clean, buddy. Do we suck? I think we suck. We can't be that bad, though, dude. Clean. 
Rip, buddy. Channel Cove. That's all. I'm banging. We had three lines in Channel we Cove, have buddy. Twelve hooks there, or something yeah. like that. Channel Cove's got to have it, right? So. God, I hope so. All right. Well, see you guys at Channel Cove. I'm wet. We made Channel Cove. Look at Banjo. He's damn. Damn. Weesh. The best thing ever is showing up and watching your freaking PVC. Just, wah, wah. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But our second one. Well, actually, that was the last one we said. I think, right? Yeah. That, yeah. That, one in the that one's moved a lot. Channel Cove might just be the juice, buddy. I might be able to reach her. Oh, she's way back here. What you got for me, Sheila? We got bait here. Got bait. Feel your cup? No. Nope, that's the head. That's the bottom one. Nope. Uh oh, banjo. Are we just three cheeks now? We're Channel trash, cup. buddy. We ain't got one on this next one. Quit. Come on, Sheila. Oh! Oh! We got a guard! He's oh, just holding really? on. He's just holding on to it. Hang on, where's that net? Grab that net. Got him. Yeah, Let's got him. go! I'll take him. Alright, we gotta bring the rest in. Hang on. Make sure there's no fish. Oh, we're hung up on something here. We're snagged. Oh. No. But we got lunch. Yeah. Oh, Let's God. go, buddy. The old I river guard. That. That's the first gar set line fish that we had. Nope. We got well, a gar though. We got a fish. We got lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look out, it. look out. You got it. It's one of the world's biggest fish. Uh, it's coming, whatever it is. There oh, it is. there it is. Anything? I'm not feeling much. More bait. More bait. More bait and a cup. The gar just fired up. I mean, we got launched. Yeah, I'm, I'm not pissed. The old gar. What do we, we? How do we cook gar last time? Just fried it up. Yeah, it's pretty, we fried it straight up. It was good. Ass. Oh no, it was bad. Yeah, gar balls. Oh no, gar, gar gar. Yeah, straight up. You're right. Straight up was bad. Yeah, we gotta gar do the old crab cake strat. Yeah, yeah. Gar ball. Banjo's want gar balls in his mouth. Is what he's saying. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Channel Cove. It's now Gar Cove. See you at the next spot. All right, folks. Next spot. We saw from afar. The PVC was giving it a tuggy. Is it? Oh, let's go. Let's go. What kind of fish? What kind of catfish? 40, 40 pound blue. Oh, wow. Oh, All right, grab, grab your line. Let's see what happens here. I'm caught on a rock right here. I'm not too, feeling too good right now. No. Really? Oh, it's underneath us now. Oh, there's still there's a chance. Oh, yeah, we got oh, one. We do? Oh, wow, yeah. Big in? Big in. Big blue. Right, hang on. Oh my god, giant, 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 dude! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Alright, check for more, check for more. Hey, just to wait, but dude, that's a PB, dude. That's big. That's man. huge! Oh my god! That's a good dude, one. he didn't even bite. He's, that's huge, dude. He's gassed, dude. Yeah. Oh my, that's a PB, dude. That's a big That's blue. a giant yeah, blue, dude. Oh my god. You gotta god. scale, too. Let's go. Let's go, okay. Good Ninja. job. Alright, I'm gonna go beat, I'm gonna go beach it. Let's go, dude. How much you guess any ways? That's probably what 15 to 20, right? Yeah. I think that's the that's the fattest one yeah. we've caught for he's, sure. He's wide. That's a girthy boy. Whoo! Mark that spot. Yeah. That's the old good in there, buddy. Wow, just when we thought we were eating gar balls. That's what I'm saying. Ain't, we ain't about the gar life. That's we're all about the kitty cat that life. Was. That's a giant fish. Yeah. yeah. What we got? Oh, there's no that, it isn't that heavy. Is that thing really? full of eggs or something? Nine pounds? It's only a nine pounder. Wow. It, fe it like it looks giant. Yeah. But oh, it yeah. like the weight, like I'm able to lift yeah. this is not about a ten. Almost ten. Yeah, it's like nine point. Wow. Not one way down. I have, I'm not sure. I might have to reset it. Yeah, it's about eight, eight or nine. She looks yeah. doesn't she look bigger than like that? A, I mean that's a thick fish. Yeah. That's old bluey. Hey, she'll eat good. Well, you got the old ten pounder. A little optimistic on the twenty guess. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> look at that. So that's yeah. your PB cat, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Sheesh! Give her, give her a grab. That's a big Sheila, buddy. Oh yeah. Sheesh! There's Lunch. only some big old fillets on yeah. that bad boy. Well, we didn't fail. I think we got two more lines to check south. So I think north was north was not the deal. We gotta go south. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next spot. All right, banjo. This one looks slack. Is that good or bad? I, it could be it. Oh! Oh! I heard that's good for it. Oh, she's slack, boy. There's gotta be a fish. Super slack. Break off? No, wait. Broke off. S what? 
I was gonna say it definitely could have cut on a rock. Oh, that was a bacon. Three years and we've never had that happen. No, no, I've never, had, I've never had the line break ever. Probably should change the line after three years. True, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's a good freshies. point. We got one left. One left. One left to check. We're gonna head down and uh, fingers crossed we get another one. But either way, we got lunch, so stay tuned. Last but not least, banjo. It doesn't look as slack as that broken one, so oh, maybe that's a good thing, I guess. Lauren, right. Junior. She's under the boat. Feeling like a tug or no? I feel that uh, that nice weight down there dragging around. Oh no. Fish? Maybe. No. We're floating. Oh, oh rip. You yeah, must just the weight. Wait, mate. Oh. I think there's a fish on here. Really? Oh, it oh. broke. She broke. Well, whatever it was, it ain't there now. She was snagged. So, I mean, there probably was a fish. You didn't, did you feel it? Uh, uh, it I thought for a second I was pulling on it and it went down. It again. went down a little bit. Well, this is what we got, boys. The old harvest right there. We'll see you guys at the house. Shoo! All right, we are, uh, I'm sorry. We are uh, at the grocery store. Where's, where's our bread at? We got to get some stuff for, oh yeah, right here. For some catfish po' boy sandwiches. That's the plan. It's some big old hoagie. What about what about this big doohickey? What if we just make one Mondo? Oh, should we make one? It's a big I, fillet. One, yeah, just one. That's should what I'm saying. That? Yeah, let's do it. I say one sure. big Mondo. How are you gonna fry it? Do we have a? Put in a big. We have a big. We'll have a big fryer. That'll what else it. you got? You got something behind your back? Yeah, I mean, he was hiding something. Yeah. yeah. Coleslaw. We're gonna put some coleslaw on it. Some classic slaw with some cl craft. This guy. Craft. Those only brand. <laughs> yeah, I know. Craft. craft. It's alright. It's just. Eh, it's alright. I know. I, I'm with the French bread deal. Uh, it's. It's, oh, it's, it looks like it's just a, it's a three-day sale. It's a limited deal. It's only, uh, it's only a dollar ninety-nine. So we got uh, what? Wants to put chips in our sandwich? Huh? Not for a fish. On the sandwich? Yeah, potato chips. Crunchy. I, he's at it. He's at yeah, it. He's Coleslaw, it. and we got the buffalo sauce that we always use. Actually, we get it here. Should see if we could restock. I think it's on that end. And then for the batter, we've got everything that we normally do. We're gonna do a homemade batter. We've dialed it in with some duck seasoning. So you guys will see that as well. And we should be in business. The best catfish that we've had yet this year was the catfish sandwich. I think that's pretty much all we have. We've got the bread. We'll toast the bread. We've got the catfish, which will get cleaned up. We've got stuff to put coleslaw on it and the buffalo sauce. I think we should be in business to make a giant, one monster catfish sandwich. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Here we are, folks. Look at the meat. There's no way. I think I didn't know how to use that scale. There's no way the sucker was eight pounds. No. That's 20 pounds of meat right there. I mean, look the size comparison. I mean, this is giant. Big mamma jamma. She's thick. I mean, thick. Ugh. Obviously, way too much meat for, uh, for this sandwich. This was our piece of uh, French bread, which is actually, look at this, almost perfect. Here's the problem. Frying this hole, this thing being two and a half inches thick, this end being about a half inch thick. It's a little red meat, not much. I don't think it's gonna cook properly. So, and then here's some belly meat, which I don't think we quite have enough. It's close, but it, that would be a thin sandwich, yeah, not bad. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna end up obviously freezing some, saving some. And these thick parts, if it was me, I would make nuggies, like little balls, and then fry them, but that's not what we're after today. We're after one Mondo sandwich. So what I'm gonna do is take the sandwich, Line it up like that, half is about here. We're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it, both of these in half and we'll, we are gonna fry up the tail side. It's thinner, it'll be crispier, should cook a little bit more evenly. I think we should be all right. You're not worried about this red meat, are you? I ain't too worried about it. it it's not ideal, but to get that off would take a lot of time. So I think those are gonna be good for cube and diced up. These guys you could, you could just straight up fry, which we could actually fry these too, because that's, I mean, that's probably enough for two good sized sandwiches. So why don't we do this? Why don't we fry these for sandwiches? We'll just fry these out for fillets. This will go in the freezer for down the road, cubage. Cube them up and uh, and we should be good to go. So we'll do the tails first. So we got them relatively dry. First thing you gotta do, which this is actually what we do with the frog legs. And then what did we cook after the frog legs? Cool. The meat chicken. Meat chicken. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been on the cornstarch strat. I think it's, it's, it's a good deal. Um, I don't think it's 100% necessary, but it seems to get a really crispy fry. So we're just gonna go lightly with some cornstarch. All that does is dry it up. It's like baby powder. Just dry it up a little bit. Don't need to go crazy. There's no seasoning. There's no flavor additive to this thing. It's just straight up to dry it out, suck that moisture up. So that way the catfish itself absorbs a little bit of our wet mix, which is gonna be the hot sauce, the typical hot sauce. So same thing, cover this up. And again, you could season this. I'm sure seasoned cornstarch would probably be good. Give it a nice little base layer flavoring, but I don't think it's needed. So that's done there. Then we got hot sauce. 
right here. And go ahead and throw the hot, actually what we'll do is take these guys there, cover them in hot sauce. I mean, we're going, you go hard with it. Cover these bad boys up. And you can let them soak. If you want to let them marinate, you can let them marinate if you want. Make sure they're coated. So you can let them sit there all night if you want. So those guys are those guys are good to go. Then for the batter, we'll be we're doing homemade DIY, something that you guys can make at home as well. We uh, figured out this recipe, and I think it's better than anything I've bought at the store. I think it's it's pretty darn good. So what you're gonna start off with is some all-purpose flour. We'll probably end up making a couple batches of this, so I'm just gonna start off with what's gonna be enough for these two fillets. Probably about yeah, like yay. Boom. Ducks buffalo seasoning. And you don't gotta be shy with this. This is the good stuff. You wanna throw that in there, about like that. Then you got ducks all meats. Take a little bit of that, throw a little bit of that in there. Yes, sir. What do you think about that, Banjo? Oh, I think we need more we buffalo. Need, we need more. More she buffalo. Don't look seasoned yet. She don't look seasoned yet. You, you just get, go lit off. You just, you just yeah. give her hell. Yep, yep. You see, now it's that dirty flour. No one likes the clean flour. You gotta go with dirty, dirty only. Dirty flour is what you're after. You want it to look just like that. Take your kitty cat, meow. Bam, oh! Oh, wow. splooch. All right, put, patch that down like that. Push it, cover it, pack it, push it, cover it, pack it. Spill all you want, that's why we're in the garage. I mean, you gotta press it, knead it, it's like kneading dough. Make sure that's got a nice crust in there. That's what you want her to look like. She is covered. So we're gonna lay that guy down. I guess I'm only gonna be able to do one at a time, huh? Yeah. Oh, rip. All right, that's good. I'm glad I didn't bread the other one, because then it gets soggy. All right, going in hot, baby. Sheesh. All right. Kitty cat's in. Kitty cat one of technically four are in. Um, while these guys are frying, let's whip up some coleslaw. Ready for the slaw. Yo. What's that strap? Oh, yeah. That's good. You gonna toss the slaw? Yeah. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's really sweet. I ain't too bad. Oh, pepper in there, Banjo, tell me, look at that. Damn. Look you think, she, think she's done? Yeah. Look at that kitty cat. Wow. <whistles> yes, sir. All right, slaw has been made. Do you mm -hmm. want to you want to start working on the bread, Banjo? Second one going in. Cover her up. <whistles> oh! Yeah! Are you Irish? Is that why you like this butter or what? No. Nah. I'm Irish. I'm German. Toaster up. Toaster up. All right, Benjamin, you're on toast duty. Okay, how's this thing doing? Woo! Look at that. All right, we'll keep it going. I'm trying to get salmon vanilla. Oh, yeah, she curled up a little bit, but not bad. Yes, sir. All right, we're done with that. Got some plates. So we've got the buns. That's the bottom. Get a little bit of this action in there. We got our catfish. Wow, that's a mondo. What we'll do is put that there, there, and then we would taste which one's the better belly. Or... True. So oh. one 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 end be belly, one yeah. end would be the the normal fillet. Get some of that dirty slaw. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. This is getting dirty. <laughs> Look at this, buddy. That looks so good. Look at that. It's like Jeez. it was meant to be. You want belly meat? Wow. You got belly meat. You want the filet? You got the filet, baby. That's your piece. How's that? Look all right? Yeah. It's okay. She, flo she was floating, so I figured she'd be. I think we should open up a, a restaurant. I mean, you go to a restaurant and order a catfish sandwich, and that... This thing would be $30. And that's what it shows up looking like? I mean... Five stars. Really? That's, that's insane. That's the old big Sheila there, buddy. Here we go, boys. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's, That's insane. And that was the skinny side. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. We use the top of it. That been double decker. Been big Sheila. Dude, the flavor on the fish batter. Mmm. Spicy. The it's crispiness. Hot. This it's might be the best sandwich I've ever made. Really? That was in English. The yeah. best sandwich I've ever made. Oh, yeah. That's it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That might be the best fish sandwich I've ever had in my that's life. That's unbelievable. Dude, it is like amazing. that's better than any walleye sandwich I've oh, ever God, had in yeah. my life. Oh god, yeah. It's dude, the batter. It's perfected. It's perfected. It's perfected. There's nothing that can beat the batter. I don't know how you I mean my mouth so... is still like it's still hot. It's still flavorful. Like it's 
it packs a punch. I don't know how you got that so crispy, but that is crispy. She is crisp. Oh, yeah. Bread was amazing. Yeah, the bread, that was a good call on the bread. Yeah. That big loaf, I think, was definitely the deal. Toasting, it makes a huge difference, Yeah, too. the toasting, mm-hmm. yep. I mean, it's it's a mess, but it is a oh, girthy yeah. sandwich. A bath after this. All right, I got to take a bite of the the so, belly. The belly. Yeah, do you want me to take, right. a, me take a nap? Yeah, yeah, I'll take a <laughs> Give it a nug. <laughs> wow. Well, that's hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. She hot. Mm-hmm. Daniel's about cleaned his plate. Mm. I think it's 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 uh fattier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's more flavor. Gotcha. But it's it's not as like uh flaky. Yeah. You yeah. know. I don't know. It's I mean, a lot I, more oily. It's oily. oily. That's what, yeah. It's yeah. it. It's it's more it's more mushy. Mm-hmm. It tastes like it's wet, like it's got like wet oil. It's really good. I think if I had to pick between the two for a sandwich, having it kind of light and flaky is better. If you're going for just like a little popcorn chicken, then being a little on the oily side, no big deal. I think they're both delicious. I mean, look how much we still have. And Vanda's just been eating it like he's in the hot dog eating. Co- I mean, he's just. Dude, it's amazing. I can't I'm, I'm just stop. waiting for you to dunk it into water. He's yeah. just shoveling in there. But I mean, there's still so much meat, and we literally put more than half of it back in the freezer, which is crazy. I'm telling you guys, if you got fish or chicken, ducks, buffalo, all meat and flour, put it in cornstarch, put it in hot sauce, mix it with all those seasonings, it will be the best fried whatever you're frying on the planet that you've ever had. And trust Banjo, because he hasn't said a word. He's just been- Two thumbs up. He's he just been come up for air yet. <laughs> he's, he's just taking a breather it out. It's amazing. It's good stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed today's catfishing video. If you want to see more, let us know in the comment section down below. And remember, the truck, the Tremor, the F-250 is going to be given away at the end of this year on Uncut. You subscribe today, you're going to get six entries through the rest of the year. One lucky winner is going to be driving that sucker home. So, link down below if you guys want to go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.